everyone, I'm Jory Richard, and the name of this video is Astro Projection, Projection, Astro Projection. Did you, what up, Triple Four at 420, did you ever have an Astro Projection? And that's when you go to sleep. And then you leave your body. And you may see your body laying on your bed. This happens to me all the time. I've been astral projecting and I didn't even know it. I probably happened to me like 10 times. I actually left my body before. Alyssa Schultz, 35. Thanks for that uh, you-know-what you got me. Greatly appreciated. So there's times when I astral projected. I left my body. And I saw my body laying on the bed. And then I go and I fly through walls. Some people I talk to, they don't even fly in their dreams. I'm flying around everywhere. And then sometimes when I fly up into the sky, I start sinking back down to earth. And then I start flapping my arms. And then I'm like, I'm still sinking. And then I want to fly up higher, but... The gravity or something just keeps on pulling me down. But there's times when I astral projected, I left my body, saw my body laying on the bed, and I, I left my house, and I, I went around my town, and everything in this realm, everything is black and white. And I went in the people's houses, and there's nobody there. Alyssa, I'm, I'm bringing you in. So I go into people's houses in this astral projection in this other realm and there's no one there, but I still see everything there. I still see all their belongings. What's up? How you doing? I love myself. You astral projected. No. Hey! You're at the patio, yo, 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 hey, what's up? What's up? How are you? I'm, I'm doing all right, hanging out, making videos. Have you ever astro projected, Shirley? Oh, can't say that, I have, Brian. <laughs> where you, where you, you went to sleep and you left your body, you saw your body sleeping on the bed. No, I can't say that I've done that. Wow. Man, I must be a, a very spiritual dude. Maybe you are. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, man. Pat me on the back. <laughs> Bye. So, like, okay, see you, Shirley. So, you're, you're just chilling, chilling. So, like, when I astral projected, I, I went in the, I went to my town. And I went in the people's houses. Isn't, it, isn't that weird how I just like go in the people's houses when I'm dreaming? Kingman, 3365. Roch, Odd, Harry, 064. So when I astral project, I leave my body. I see it sleeping on the bed. And then I went out into town one time when I astral projected. I left my body. And there was a bunch of demons in my room. And then there was like, there was like 15 demons in my room. And then I'm just like, I'm in the dark. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And these things are just all around me. Like, <sighs> like I, I woke up one day <laughs> in a dream. So I woke up in a dream. Like I'm laying on my bed and I wake up like I'm laying on my bed. Like, my, my dream is me laying on my bed. And then there's, like, this devil, Ishu, the, the red devil with the big horns. He's just, like, on the edge of my bed, and he's like, arr, arr. and I'm like, holy moly, what is going, what is the world coming to? So I've had dreams like that where I left my body, I've had dreams where there was things in my room, and it, it, it's pretty freaky when you wake up in a dream, laying in your bed, and then you see a demon. You see, you see the devil. 
<laughs> on the side of your bed. I'm almost like he's like tucking you in at night. He's like, he's like, hey, are you all tucked in? You all warm? So that's my experience. I, I've, I've had some pretty cool dreams. And I, I've had dreams before where, see, now I'm not talking about astral projecting. But I, I've been in different realms where I, I was in a house and then I go, I go through the roof, I go through the top, and then I'm in another room. And then I go into this room, and then I, I pull it down, I'm in another room. And I go over here, and then I, I, I just keep on, and I can't get out. I keep on trying to, like, fly out the top because in my dreams, I could fly through walls. So I kept flying through walls, and it, kept, it, it was the same exact house. It was the same place, and I couldn't get out. I was trapped. Hmm, why would I get the feeling of being trapped? Hmm, why, why? That is so weird. As I sit in the box with four walls in the cube, I'm in a box. I'm talking to you on a box, and I'm, this building is a big box, and we're living in a big box, and then when I go home, I'm going to go back into my box. A.T. Salt. Astral projection. I know that A.T. Salt has astral projected. As, why, why can't I say that? I, I sound like I'm talking with a lift. Astral projection. Astral projection. So, A.T. Salt, have you ever had a dream where you left your body and you saw your body laying on the bed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was talking to somebody else. Um, uh, yeah, while I mean, while I've been in the the brain waves of of sleep, um, my consciousness usually goes like to very many alternate alternate dimensions, and uh, sometimes, and what happens is it projects it projects out like into into the fourth dimension, but like at multiple times. But it but since it's in the fourth dimension, it's also being projected out like as we speak. Like you're you're basically we basically are astral projections like of of our consciousness because we're just our consciousness projecting into different places and so it's just where your awareness is. But yeah, long time one time I was asleep, or well, one time I was I was I figured out I was figured out I was um, in a world that was uh, complete created created from my subconscious mind. So I uh, because and how I figured this out was because I was I was like climbing on bricks, but the bricks were just floating, which I don't know why I wouldn't think that's real because I've literally came across technology today of floating bricks so that's possible uh with magnets with magnetism like that can be like magneto magneto can do that and and so yeah and so i did that and then but then i was like oh wait so if i'm if i'm in this if i'm if i'm in this state <laughs> then I, then i must then i must be able to uh, like leave my leave my body and so then I went like this and I'm like Ugh. and then I, and I came out and then I was and then I looked around and I was like and my and I was like laying next to my body and my body was laying there I was looking at my body and then my and then I rolled back and then I rolled back into my body and then I and then I was like oh well I guess I wasn't I guess my body wasn't strong enough to stay like that, to stay separated. It's pretty wild, man. But, Do you but, believe that I can actually meet you in a dream and we can have a conversation in a dream where, where, we, where we're both, and then we wake up and we both remember what happened, where it's like, I talked to you in a dream. Like, yeah, that's, I, that's, I believe that's, it's possible. Where we're like, now. I, I could commute, yeah, like sort of what's it going on right now, because you could say that this is a dream. Okay, do you want to tell your story? Yeah, I was like chilling, and 
I was talking to my friend like right before we went to sleep. And then I when I went to sleep I had a dream about him, right? And report, this is Brian he dreaming, he texted me and he was like, Dude, I had a dream about you and I was like, I had a dream about you too And then he told me what happened. And it was the exact same dream. So synchronicity I think Yeah, yeah, it's uh it's a great movie. Well, I mean, probably not. Yeah. Like, that's that's just more than synchronicity. It's like if you guys both had the same dream, that was mean that your consciousness were in the same dimension, yeah, basically. I, I, I really like it. I feel like going home and watching it. And I probably... But, like, what causes that? Like, what causes yeah, two, like that two awareness points to, like, merge into one another? Like in a dream, like why would you guys both be there? What was the dream about? Okay, I'll, I'll check Are it out. Me? Yeah, I've, I've done that too. I actually, that virtual reality game that I played earlier, I actually had a dream that I was in that game before. Okay, and like, why would yeah. I do that? I, I'm, I'm sure I can. I don't know. But I do dream in the future a lot. Well, you, you too, Rich. And it'll happen. Like, one, like, I've gone months of just extensive periods of. Every night I dream about something, and then the very next day, that something happens. Okay. Yeah, and I know that happens to you. And Talia, this definitely happens to Talia. So, so it's a mystery. It's a mystery what we're doing here, but it's also cool. Because there's different aspects where, like, I, I could predict the future in the dream where I actually see what's going to happen before it does. I may be able to meet you in the dream and have a conversation just as real as this, where we wake up and we both remember it. Well, if we both, if, if we're both thinking about, if like we're both visualizing the same, the same thing, if we're both like in the same place and we just think that we're in that place together, we would, we would eventually our, we would eventually fall into like you know sleep, but we wouldn't even be. But we, if we were in that vi st that visualization had stuck, when we fall asleep, we would just be in the visualization. And so, we, so basically, like the visualization is well, on I'm command, nice. on command, dreaming. And so, if you visualize being in a place, and as you're falling asleep, you'll just eventually be there if you keep that focus. But the hard part is keeping the focus. How about me and you meet up in Narnia tonight? Which part of Narnia? Uh, I had a dream before where it was all snowy. I was in the forest, and, and I knew it, it was Narnia. And I went down this path to the left, and I went through, and then it was a bunch of fruit. It was like a big carrot and a pear and a tomato, and then these giant fruit, what they were doing, they were actually torturing human beings. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Where am I? So I like, I, I just like snuck out. I, they didn't see me, but like I, I walked into something I shouldn't have got involved in. That's so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. You should, uh, you should turn that into a, a like a short film. Yeah, I, I yeah, it, it would, it would, it'd be great. And then after that, I went to a bar. I went to a bar and then everybody was just still. They weren't even moving. And then I just started punching everybody in the face and everybody was just like, let me punch them. <laughs> wow, what a dream. Yeah. Really so, and then I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave. I, 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 I felt the dream fading away at the end. And I was like, I don't want to leave Narnia because it, 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 was, it was a cool place. The way I do it is the way I do it is I realize that every single dream is just is like a metaphor for a subconscious fear that you have every single one like last night like last night I can tell you my most recent dream I was I was in my mom's room and uh, I was like I was doing exactly what Tally is doing right now laundry mm -hmm. and and, uh, but there was this guy, like a really tall, like skeletal like guy in the closet. And then he was like, 
I like. If you had all black, but like he was a skeleton. No. It's like Slender Man. No, basically, and he and but he was just like a regular guy, like a regular dude, and um, he was like doing laundry, like and and then I like was supposed to be cleaning the bathroom, and then I was, and then I said, I said. I was like, I was like, gonna take a shower. I was gonna like clean the shower, and then he's like, "Okay, I'll show you how to shower." And then he like came toward, he like came towards me, and I was like, "Uh," and then I, I like backed away. But then this is the really freaky part. I backed away, but as I backed away, my projection went back inside my, went back inside my body. Like I felt myself go back inside my body, and then I was, and then I was like. And then I was like laying in my bed. I could feel myself laying in my bed, but I couldn't move. I was having sleep paralysis. And then the dude came out of my closet and he was like coming towards me and he got really, he like got really close behind my back and like was in, and like started touching me. And I was like, and there was like nothing I could do about it because I was having sleep paralysis. This happened this morning. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just woke up and I was like, wow. Whatever. And then I ended up or actually before that, here here would be a here would be a subcon here would be one that I would say is a subconscious fear because I was um I was I was with a bunch of friends and I had taken them to this place, to this store, and but it was my store. And it was like it was like a place where I sold a bunch of crystals and like coffee or something. And then they and then they were like Hey, you just brought us here because you wanted us to buy stuff. And then, I like, and then I was like, and I and I didn't really want that, but I was like, oh dang. And so I think that that was a subconscious fear of not, of like not wanting people to think I'm like trying to sell them shit, or something. Because like I I don't know because I've always had like a judgment against like trying to like make money, and so like I don't want to. And so I feel like even though everybody's always trying to make money, I feel like I feel like so unresonant against like for it usually. Like if I'm like selling my like selling my art, it just doesn't seem it just doesn't seem right. It should be well not always. Not always. But it doesn't feel that way fully, but it's like a subconscious thing. And so then I went to the bathroom and I was washing off blackface while they okay. were in the store. The store was connected to a bathroom, and I went and I had blackface. It's wild how deep these dreams go into our subconscious. Yeah, yeah, like I had black, <laughs> like like black paint on my face, and I was looking in the mirror, and I didn't, I was, I was just washing my face, but then I like, turned on the light, and it was like black paint, but like half of it, and like I was like wash, I was like washing it off. Or or putting it on, I don't know. No, I was like, no, yeah, I was, I wasn't even, yeah, I was, I was washing it off. No, I was washing it off. So, and so, what was that a subconscious fear of? Being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Possibly because I wouldn't want to be perceived that perceived that way. Yeah. yeah. And so that's the type of thing is like, is like you about things that you are, uh, you can't accept or like, and that would be your fears. Like all of, all fears are things that you can't accept, things that you reject and like, like try to push away because it doesn't, it's not your phone's way. And, but, but like for it to, to, for to like integrate your fear for to like dissolve your fear would be to like accept your fear as an existence as a reality or as a or usually in the case of like these these two like these two subconscious these two subconscious uh fears that were expressed in this in this dream that i said they were they were um just leftover perceptions like of like the collective and like old judgments that I've had, you know, old judgments I've had for the collective and they are still lingering here in, in my mind and they, and they popped up 
and they only pop, popped up as a fear in order to in order to accept accept it accept the judgment and then by accepting the judgment it's it's like changing the judgment and then it's not fearing it I think I guess I had a dream uh, I, I'm not I'm not quoting the Martin Luther King speech by the way but I, I had a dream and it, I was at the mall and I put on a red dress and it was like a beauty pageant and then I, I took like the roses and I was walking down the the aisle and I was I, w I was wearing a dress and I had the high heels on and everything and then like I didn't think nothing of it I'm just at a pageant, and I was thinking, man, I hope I win. And then I woke up, and my brother, I told my brother about this. I'm like, I had a dream that I was wearing a dress. And then he's like, you know what? I had a dream last night that you were in it, and you were wearing a white dress. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, but what is that? That, yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, right. That how people share... Thing. See what I think this is, which ties into a theory I actually have about synchronicity, which is synchronicity is always occurring, constantly. And the only reason that you're having a synchronicity is because your awareness, awareness is increasing, and so you're able to perceive the synchronicity. But synchro all synchronicity is, is a wave of energy, of, of frequency, of multiple, of multiple people being in a room, multiple ideas. Because every, because every single vibration has to match the frequency of the other vibrations in order for it to exist together. So everything is constantly rhyming. You're constantly saying the same thing on the same frequency. And you're perceiving something that is on the same frequency as you. As I stare at, as I, as I look at my sister right now, folding these clothes, what I, what I, what I, what I, that's all, I'm only perceiving that because that that is a is a vibrational my frequency is a vibrational match to that for that frequency for that frequency in order for for the vibrations to match which is just environment per, perception of environment and perceiver of the environment so so it's always happening. And so synchronicity is just whenever your awareness is increasing and you're able to just notice an aspect of that. And I think that nothing, and so it's, and so what I meant, and so the, any frequency is a wave of energy and energy just always flows through different waves. And so you were being affected by a similar wave, similar frequency wave of energy. And that's why you have the same dream. That's why you and I are here right now because we've hit, been affected by a similar wave of energy that is our frequency. Yo. Yep. I gotta get going, bro. Okay. See hey, thank, thank, thanks for going live with me, man. Yeah. That's always see. Yeah, let's try to go let's try to go to a hmm. Let's try to go to a let's go inside of a let's go inside of a you know that place in Adventure Time where the Cosmic Owl lives, and uh, who's the guy? The big guy. I never saw Adventure Time. Yeah. I I had a dream about it. You did? Really? Yes. I was just saying we should all uh, we should pretend that we should like go to that room. What is what is Adventure Time? Oh wow. I don't know. I I don't know. <laughs> I need the <to> connection. <laughs> I'll send you a link. Okay. See you I'll, I'll check it out, and then I will meet you there tonight. Okay. In I'll the, send you a picture, probably. Yeah, but yeah, I'll see you in Adventure Town. In the Astros. All right, AT Salt. I'll see you, bro. See you. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.